Hello, it's Scott Manley here and today I am looking at Signal Delay. Now, Signal Delay was a game developed for a 48 hour challenge, the theme being 10 seconds. And the idea is at the hardest level or normal level in this case, you control a Mars rover with a 10 second signal delay. So uh, we're just, you can see the controls here. You're going to see how it works. I'm going to play it on easier just so I can get an idea of what's really going on, right? So. If I push forwards, right, you see it starts to, sh it shows the speed change, but it doesn't actually start to move until four seconds afterwards. So obviously this is the, the idea is to show what it would be like to drive a rover on Mars. I press B to brake and it keeps on going for four seconds. The whole idea is you could pick up a rock like this one and get it into your, uh, you know, into the container there. Incidentally, this um, rover is the property of J. Kerman. If found, please return to KSC. Okay, so I'm going to try turning this thing, and I think... Actually, I'm going to try turning it this way, because I'm going to reverse it, right? There's the rover wheels. I'm going to... Uh, nope. I'm reversing it this way. i got to reverse. That's right. Here we go. Just watch, because we're going to line up for this thing, and I'm going to press B about four seconds before I line up, and overshot completely. Overshot completely. Okay, let's try that again. This is going to take a little time. Now, obviously, real Martian signal delay is at least six minutes or seven minutes, and it can be as high as 40 minutes. This is all dependent upon the position in the orbit. Obviously, as Mars moves through its orbit, uh, its distance to Earth changes, and this means that the time between the signal being sent and responded to uh, changes over the course of the orbit. And this is uh, something that has to be dealt with, let's say, by the people at NASA. Uh, they also have to deal with the fact that they need line of sight to communicate with the rover. Let's just drive this forward a little and then brake. Um, they need line of sight. So at some times of the year, it may be daylight on Mars, but uh, unfortunately, the position of the the position of Earth is in the wrong. Uh, the Earth is below the horizon. Now, in that case, it's actually possible for the Martian rovers to talk to one of the satellites that's orbiting the planet. Uh, there's Mars Odyssey, which has been there since 2001, and uh, it's been doing a great job. Apparently, it's broken a, like records for the longest. Um, it's it's the longest running Mars satellite. And there's also Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been uh, in orbit for not nearly as long, but it has been acting as a communication go-between for many a long time. Uh, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, of course, is the one that famously showed, or less famously showed, if the conspiracy theorists are to be believed, uh, that the Martian face isn't actually a face at all. It's just a hill that was lit in just the right kind of way. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's do that and break. Just trying to get this lined up. And you see, you got to make the motion and then watch what happens. Okay, so let's reset my steering and we'll drive forwards a little and then brake. Now, I want to get close enough that I can actually use this thing to grab it. Uh, you know, I might have to uh, turn just a little. I don't know how fast... There seems to be a dead spot with the, the motion. And you got to do at least a certain amount. I mean, you know, of course... The game was only developed in 48 hours, so it does have a few issues, but I'm sure uh, if somebody really wanted to make this into a fully functioning game, there would be lots of opportunities. Okay, let's try and get this arm out here so we can pick the thing up. Okay, uh, arm, this is the one to do it. Oh, no, yeah, hold this up. There we go. Up, up, up. No. Don't crash it. Sky, what are you doing? Don't be hitting my buttons for me this time. Oh. Sky has a kitty with her. She's showing off. You may have seen my Twitter. We have a couple of new kitties in the household. Oh, this is really hard. <laughs> but it's a wet kitten. Yeah, okay, it's a wet kitten because you've been... Oh, oh, glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. Did this... Oh, look, can I grab it? Press space bar. Let's see. Come on! Oh, the hinges in Unity are apparently terrible. Okay, so now I need to pull this backwards to lift it up off the ground and then let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Yes! Yes! Oh, okay. Now... Nope. Moving it the wrong way, I think. Ah, there we go. That's the button. Okay. So i got to wait for this to happen. 
Come on! I know you're struggling against the weight of that rock, but I need you to lift it over the top. I, I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to overdo it, and it's going to end up falling off the thing. Come on! Over the top there! Come on! No, you can do it! Do it, do it, do it, do it! <laughs> I'm worried that I'm going to push this button, and it's going to just fly over the top completely. Okay, it's over the top. Now it's going the right way. And I should probably move it this way. Move this down a little more. Don't drop it. Don't drop throw it. it. No, I don't want to throw it. I want to drop it in the basket. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Ah, no. Yes, I finished in five minutes and 22 seconds, which is quite good considering that um, you could send a signal to Mars and back in... It would take longer than that to send a signal to Mars and back in this time. <laughs> Obviously, when you're doing... When the when the Mars rover managers are working with the Mars rover, they actually have a lot of tools. They have stereoscopic cameras, so they can essentially build... Success. They can build 3D models of where things are that they're supposed to be checking. And so they are actually able to plan out their maneuvers because they are going to take, you know, an average of 20 minutes to get a response to their maneuver. So they essentially have build a virtual model of the environment before they actually send signals. And they have to approve everything and you know, they'll probably have meetings over particular maneuvers. What's the best way to try drilling into this rock? And there we go. Oh no, this is the 10 second delay version is even more horrific. Now, uh, NASA's Deep Space Network is actually consists actually consists of three different stations. They're separated 120 degrees around the surface so that they can always see, you know, basically every point in the sky all the time. There's one in Goldstone, which is a uh, button in California. There's Madrid, the Deep Space Communication Complex in Madrid, and the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex. And all of these, they have uh, multiple radar dishes or multiple antennas for transmitting and receiving. Like in in California, you've basically got uh, four dishes, most of them are 34 meter dishes, but there's one very large one, which is a 70 meter dish. Uh, similarly in, um, in Madrid, they have like three or four dishes and one of them is a, a 70 meter dish. It was originally built as a 64 meter, but now it's a 70. And of course in Australia, the Canberra dish, they have, they have the most, I think they have like you know, half a dozen different dishes and stuff that are communications, used for communications all through deep space. And everything ultimately passes through these dishes. All the stuff that comes from Mars, although some of the data will go via the satellites in orbit around Mars. And, and uh, yeah, there is actually a working group trying to develop internet protocols that will work over the long distances, long delays found in space. Uh, delay tolerant, tolerant networking. Normally, internet protocols really don't like long delays. They end up with huge buffers and other problems like that. But uh, they did test this for a deep impact, I believe, in some form. But there, there was also a plan to actually send a communication satellite to Mars that would essentially form the hub of the Martian internet. But uh, that was cancelled so far. We'll see whether that actually happens. But anyway, so if you're one of these people that uh, might end up punching your computer, then don't play this. But if you want a challenge, try the game is Signal Delay. It's by Chris Gaudino. Go and look it up. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.